Hello there guys and welcome to the channel where today let's talk about Commander Bakara, the feared Commander Bakara actually because as we said yesterday, the Galactic Marines man, this faction was not the one to mess with, not only because Bakara led them but their general was one of the most famous Jedi Masters in the Order, Ki Adi Mundi and not just because of the memes. Guys, I gotta thank you for showing up and watching these videos. I hope you enjoy these. If you do, show your support by leaving a like down below. Talk to us down in the comments as well. I'm always glad to see you guys there. Today, it's all about Bakara, but a specific moment in his life. The Battle of Maegido and what actually happened during that battle. You see, when Bakara and Kiarimundi returned to Maegido, nearing the end of the Clone Wars, the fighting for Maegido's capital city worsened by the men. It. In an effort to slow down the Republic advance, the Separatists used their enormous tridroids to lay waste to the cities. What's worse is that the Republic used their artillery pieces to hammer the enemy down. This only managed to destroy the landscape into absolute rubble. As you can see, both sides just aided to the problem. As a result of this bombardment, the skies of Maegido were constantly filled with dark grey ash, which was carried by the icy wind across the planet. If you have played the old Battlefront games, you may be more familiar with Maegido. It is absolutely horrible to see this happen to the planet. To aid the Marines, however, several detachments of the 501st Legion were sent to the icy world, where, as a side note, there was a top secret mission aimed at acquiring power crystals from a secret super weapon for the Supreme Chancellor. However, here's where it gets interesting. After Mundi ordered his troops to push against the Separatists, Bakara, at that moment in time, received Order 66 via an encrypted channel directly from Palpatine. Order 66 effectively labeled Ki Adi Mundi, the great Jedi Master, along with the rest of the other Jedi, as traitors and enemies of the Republic. This moment was not easy for Bakara. He had a long lasting respect for the Jedi Master. He served under him for a long time. That's not easy to, to forget. However, this was the bad thing about the clones, the, the tough situation that they were put in. Not only inhibitor chips, but loyalty to the Republic. Bakura's ultimate loyalty laid with Palpatine and his Republic, basically. If they didn't, the repercussions were to be grand. And of course, once he realized this, he did not hesitate, and together with his troops, he executed the order. As Kiari Mundi led the Marines in a charge against the Separatists, Bakara and the surrounding troopers stopped, raised their rifles, and gunned down a baffled Jedi in a storm of blaster fire. By the way, guys, this was all told through the novel Order 66 that came out after Revenge of the Sith, and it shows how troopers felt about the Order. In this case, as you can see, Bakara was still tentative at first, but as many clones, he had no choice, or else he too would have been probably branded a traitor. Such was the case with the Ion team, for example. Clone commandos that upon helping the Jedi during Order 66 were branded as traitors, even though they had the inhibitor chips installed, they still didn't believe the order was real. Interestingly enough, not a lot of other clones did, but just as well. Probably any of them would be killed or locked away. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by, and if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below, and don't forget to hit that bell and get notified the moment a new video is up. Have an awesome day, my friends, and may the Force be with you always.